and welcome back to the channel everyone today starts our series of our caribbean island hopper we get into some adventure we get into some food and some stops along the way make sure you stay tuned because today we check out mystic mountain and duns river fall can't wait to show y'all all that's in store and we'll see y'all in a few Before we get started if you have not already please make sure you subscribe the link is down in the bottom the button is down in the bottom and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up a like and make sure you share it with other people we really appreciate all the help that we have on this channel and we thank y'all so now we are at Falmouth, Jamaica uh, it's a busy cruise ship port that kind of lies between Ocho Rios and Montego Bay. It's on the north part of the island of Jamaica and it really houses a good variety of shops and things to do right in the area if you don't want to go anywhere into Jamaica I should say. I think you could really spend majority of your day here just kind of sightseeing and shopping especially within a few mile radius of this cruise port. So we got down here and again first time in Jamaica wanted to see what we had but we also had some things in store so we ended up taking a shuttle all the way to Ocho Rios Jamaica so that we can start our day full of excursions we quickly concluded some shopping after getting a couple of things and some water shoes because we knew we were gonna have some water activities we hopped on our shuttle now the shuttle lady well, actually, it was our tour guide. I'm not going to say she was just on the shuttle because she followed us everywhere from the Bob's Landing down to Dunn's River and back. She was very knowledgeable, very funny, and really enjoyed her. I think <laughs> one of the, the good parts about it was of seeing her and my wife just kind of have some dialogue on the side that had nothing to do about the tour. They were just kind of talking. And, you know, my wife enjoys herself and people just in general. So when you have a tour guide who is not just about making her dollar and showing you around, but also just adapting to whoever's around and just enjoying their presence too, you really, you really like it. And I will tell you, the parts that we rode through in Jamaica, which were clearly by the water, we rode along the coastline basically to get to Ocho Rios and we saw some very, very interesting scenery and learned a lot of the history of Jamaica and those parts of town between Ocho Rios and Falmouth that were put together but not completely finished. It was a lot of people who had some money then government hit them and they didn't have enough money and they have these like halfway built mansions that are just not finished and they've been like that for years um, so it was very interesting to just kind of see that part of town and hear everything that the island had to offer and we really enjoyed it so anyway next stop mystic mountain Man, I hit the vegetation on my foot and everything. So, we're going to say welcome to Jamaica. We are in the Ocho Rios area. Uh, we were dropped off at Falmouth. Um, and Jamaica has some of the most beautiful vegetation I think I've seen. Um, right now, we're on this sky lift. Uh, get ready to go 700 feet above sea level and do some cool runnings. I'm not talking because I'm scared. <laughs> uh, what you need to do is go check out one of our old videos. We went to San Diego and we got on one of these things. Oh, yeah, she was scared then too. I was. I <laughs> forgot about that. Yeah. This, this is one of the, the longer cable rides I think I've ever been on. So... But the journey here was great. Uh, we got to learn a little bit about Jamaica and the town and all that good stuff like that. And um, 
you know we had a good tour guide so it's been cool um i will say that i thought it's gonna be a little bit cooler in jamaica seeing that we were by the water but that is not the case it is hot for hot and when i say we're high we're high so <laughs> Oh, but we travel up and travel down. So it's 15 minutes. Yeah. It's a 15 minute ride. Yeah. So that, I mean, that lets you know right then and there, this is no short cable ride. And then it stops. <laughs> and you're 700 feet. The cable rides that I'm used to are at theme parks. And they do go high, but they keep going, you know, and then you, it's, it's got to slow down here and there for people who can't get on the seat quick enough or get off quick enough you can't just have a liability of someone falling off but look down there oh no that's beautiful. on our journey up we hit a stop <laughs> and you kind of just bounce while you're on that stop <laughs> <laughs> that is a little nerve wracking. And we finally reaching the top. I really felt like that was 20 minutes. <laughs> Man. That's crazy. Hey, <laughs> Bobo, how are you doing? Hey, man. You good? Yeah. yeah. So we'll make your way to the right. Ready? Go. So now that we made it to the top, let me give you a little bit about Jamaica Mystic Mountain. Now this is comprised of an entire rainforest that has activities within and without of this this area, I should say. And it's very, very well themed. Um, as you can see right now, we are in the bobsled portion of it. And I know I keep mentioning Cool Runnings because that was just the movie to think about. That's the movie you grew up on where you saw the first Jamaican bobsled team. And if you didn't know anything about Jamaicans having a bobsled team, they did have one which inspired the movie. However, because of that movie, it was just only fitting that they would make a ride that is dedicated to that. So you get to learn a lot about Jamaican bobsled history, some of the famous Olympians that went, and then also a carved out ride that supports this Jamaican bobsled team. Now, also within Mystic Mountain, there are tons of other adventures that you can do. Um, I believe that there was zip lining, there's hiking, there's uh, another type of like small roller coaster ride. There's an infinity pool that you could use and slides and there's food, um, you know, all around. And really, Mystic Mountain can be enjoyed for the whole day. They have prices where you can actually do every event that they have there or you can just pick and choose. And in this case, I wanted to come to Jamaica. I wanted to do the Jamaican bobsled thing. So this is what we decided to do. Now, I will tell you, like, no matter what activity you do, you are around all of the wilderness, the, the wildlife. And I think it's really good how they have all of these things tucked off. Like, you can see them as you zip between certain things, um, but they are their own unique set of photo opportunities I should say in this safari it's about a hundred acres worth of activity and things to do all right so let's get into this and show you what the first stop in Mystic Mountain looks like y'all enjoy this bobsled we're about to get this cool runnings on and this Jamaican bobsled on the top of Mystic Mountain All right, it's time to get this bobsledding on at Mystic Mountain. They got me in this contraption. I'm gonna see if I can catch up with Bay.
my. The babe down here in the bobsled thing going four miles an hour. I was going so fast, I caught up with her, it automatically made me stop. <laughs> Uh, that was actually pretty fun. I don't know who made this contraption uh, or how it came into existence, but the Jamaican bobsled team, thank you for your uh, <laughs> your team here because it actually gave them this idea. And this is really cool. If you ever come out here, you need to come to Mystic Mountain and do the Jamaican bobsled. It is where it is. You can go pretty fast. I went fast enough to where I caught up with Bay. Um, and then once you hit the end and you still you slow down, it pulls you back up and you get to see all the vegetation and stuff. And I tell you, the ride was about mm, four minutes long. You know, you have some roller coasters that don't even last this long, but and it also depends on how fast you're going. Like I said, I, I came right up on her and it made me automatically stop. So it added a little bit more time, but man, you can zip down this thing. After our bobsledding adventure was over with, before we headed back down, they had a table set up where you could order food. Now for us, our food was included with the adventure, but for some people, they can come and order from this buffet style location. Um, they gave us jerk chicken, rice and peas, and cabbage, and it was good. I mean, authentic Jamaican food right there, and the sauce that they had was extraordinary. So. You know, we ate, we tried to eat while we were there, we ate on the way down, all that good stuff like that. But good ups, again, Mystic Mountain, tons of adventure, tons of food, and a good day just to hang out if you're ever in Jamaica. That beans and rice was off the chain, though, ain't it, babe? Look at him touching his hand. I didn't even, I didn't even. Yeah, boo, wait. Just a little bit. Just rinse your hands off so you pick a chick. Look at you touching your food. That's okay. why your bubby staying sick. I mean, your baby daddy got to pay a whole bunch of much stuff for your bill. Honey, he touching his food. Why am I like, I'm going to touch my food? Because you just got that old nasty ride with a whole bunch of other people was riding on it too. That's why, sweetie. Here. Thank you. You, you hear all this going on? <laughs> so, so now, now you can pick up your food and eat it, baby. So now let me, let me get into it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> me... that's, that's what happened when you on this 15 minute ride here. You can just talk. So we hit this Jamaican bobsled thing. You wanna eat too, Jimmy? And my wife Nothing decided she was not going to go more than seven miles an hour. I caught up with her and the machine made me come to a complete stop. It had a <laughs> red light on her thing and I couldn't move until she got around the corner. I was not riding that thing fast. That thing was too fast for me, especially when it hit those corners. I could not <laughs> do it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I slowed down so slow, and I told him in the back, "Please don't hit me. Don't hit me, yeah, babe." Yeah, she was. She was yelling all loud. It. It do got some speed on them. Corners do kind of kick in, and then they had a couple of hills to drop down. Yeah. But it's safe. They have a mechanism in it that detects how close you are to the other vehicle. So that was cool because I was like, man, if I don't stop, I'm gonna run straight into her. But. <laughs> And then I couldn't see you around the corner until I got down. I was like, oh, she's right there. It's like, no. It was nice though, I can't complain. Yeah. And I rode it by myself, so I was proud. I really was, I don't ride rides by myself. 
So somehow we got off schedule and we couldn't sit down and enjoy our food and eat. We had to get it to go. Yeah. So that we can go to Dunn's River. Now, the lady did explain it might be crowded down at Dunn's River. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get in the river because we don't have to leave. So. This is true. My plan was to hit Dunn's River since I couldn't hit Blow, so fast, Blue Hole. Um, but hey. Now we're taking this 15-minute ride and journey back down. Welcome to the world famous Dunn's River Falls and Park. This place is huge. Uh, there's a lot of little activities all around this portion of the rainforest for things to do just like we had in Mystic Mountain. Uh, in this park we chose to do the River Falls. Now the River Falls is a 960 foot tall free flowing river fall that has different natural made rock areas and and step climbing areas for you to go on and you can do this with or without a guided tour guide I should say and they help you to terrain this entire peak of a mountain of waterfalls and the water was cold but the thing about that water once you got in it it wasn't too bad it seems like the water got warmer as we got towards the top, although there wasn't much sun coming through the trees to kind of heat the water up. But it was just a great thermal spring. Um, and we did this in a group where we had to kind of hold hands and you had to do this because it, the rocks were slippery. They were jagged, they were deep. Sometimes it would be a little piece that you could put your foot on to get up. And these tour guides, they do it day in and day out, so they know it. But for us, we still had some people that were kind of falling and things of that nature. And as you can see, me and baby kind of held the group. We did it first and we were up. So it was, it was very interesting nonetheless, I should say. Uh, my son only made it through halfway of the fall. We determined that we were going to go to the entire top portion of it. Um, but it was a good experience. Uh, it was great to, to get out there with the crowd into that natural feeling spring water and just have a good time. The tour guy was great. He was an enjoyable guy. Um, and that's what we did. And that took about an hour, almost an hour and a half to kind of terrain that entire thing just because, you know, there were breaks in between. Now, Dunn's River Falls and Park it's not just that river this this waterfall goes all the way down to the white sandy beaches um, that you can you can have some time in as well if you are there for the entire day um, I think they have like little activities for kids as well and of course there's food um, on this site as well but there's zip lining there's the climb falls that we did uh, you know in a splash zone for kids now here's a map real quick not going to go over everything, but just letting you know that there are tons of things to do for your time out if you just came to this portion of Jamaica. This is right outside of Ocho Rios. I want to say it was about six to maybe eight minute drive from Mystic Mountain. When, when you come down to, to Dunn's River, you need to get with this guy here. David. He's the best tour guide in here. He can, really? he can climb up the mountain, he can slide down the mountain, he can do it fast, slow, he can talk to you, he can do it backwards, he can do it all. What did he see on the falls? I don't remember. Oh, he kept taking my wife's hand. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, what again? I forgot. Oh, no. Oh, uh-uh. <laughs> no, nope. we didn't. Mm -mm. We didn't. Uh -uh. There's one time. We can close this channel. And if you are still rocking with us, I want to take this time to thank everyone who has become a Patreon supporter of our channel. Thank you for your subscriptions. It kind of helps go towards everything that we do on this channel for you. And continue to hit like for this video. Continue to get that algorithm going. I hope you enjoyed Mystic Mountain. I hope you enjoyed Dunn's River Falls. 
we finally got back to the port decided to do a little souvenir shopping in jamaica of course pick up some jamaican patties and then head on back to our next destination it's been fun and thank y'all for joining us on this one well, thank you for coming along with us to Jamaica. We just spent about nine and a half hours. We hit Falmouth and we hit Ocho Rios. We hit Mystic Mountain, did some bobsledding, and we hit Dunn's River. And then we actually went up the entire River Falls. So it was good and enjoying. Um, we will catch you on the next one. Next up, Grand Cayman. See y'all there. Too much, too much. We are, we are.